Hello and welcome to this demonstration on building a data vault using Wearscape 3D. So the first thing we're going to do is create a connection to your data source and then we can discover that connection. We can take and build a model of your source system. We can filter out table types to make sure we're not doing views and system tables and we can do a quick discovery and then also we can do a quick profile if we want to as well just some minimal metrics and so we can see that we have created an, a nice entity relationship diagram here if we scroll down and look at customers we can see that even the profiling results in a graph and see we had distinct values, nulls, percentage, population. So now that we have our source system discovered and a model created, we can then create a data vault design. So I have a data vault design here and we will display it. So this is one that I created from scratch. You can right click, create your entity, add attributes, and design it so it's not based on your source system but based on the business and how it utilizes things. So in this case we have company and I've created a couple of other ones online transaction, merchandise, resources. And so this can then be turned into a raw data vault. So the first thing we need is to come in to this company and we can map this to a source. So this source is from that DBO customers that we just discovered. And so it has a direct mapping, but you can also do multiple sources, even multiple mapping sets if you have different sources that are pulling it in. The second step we need to do is to assign the attribute types. We can use that through a workflow button that we have that will take and use business rules to create and assign the business key, the link business key, whether it's a satellite transaction and volatility. And what this ends up with is these, what I call my pretty colors on the side. And we can see this in the properties for each attribute. So we can see company name was set to business key and the rest were set to medium volatility satellite. And if we look at the online transaction, the attributes there, we can see that some of these are set to link business keys like that and so these are set to satellite transactions so all that was done and you can override them at any time but they were done with this assigned attribute type so once you think you have your business keys your link keys everything assigned to a satellite when you're ready then you can click on this workflow button down here and generate your data vault so in this case I'm going to generate just a quick simple data vault from this and so now the key thing to remember here is this is a rules-based system and so we have model conversion rules that execute when you're going from one model type to the next over here and in this case we're going from a logical data vault to a raw data vault so we're going to take this logical data vault design and create a data vault from it. And we're going to create satellites and hash keys and everything else that's necessary. Now these model conversion rules are just steps that you would normally do. So there you go. We're just executing them instead of in days. We're executing them very quickly. And we end up with kind of a simple raw vault with one link and three hubs are in blue, the links are in pinks, and the satellites are in yellow. So that's how you can quickly generate a raw vault in Wearscape 3D. I hope that you can see that this tool can help you be agile in your development of your data vault, perhaps using it as a prototyping tool in front of the business so that they can really see the data and you can quickly change it to match up with their expectations. So thank you and have a great day. If you are interested in more information, please go to wearscape.com slash request a demo.